listen to the music in the air. And the radio on. And the radio on. Hit the floor, we share. Turn your lights down low. Turn your lights down low. And listen As it to says in Hebrews, solid food is for the mature, who because of practice, as exercise in the, in the King James, have their senses trained to discern between good and evil. Hebrews 5.14. You've got to train your sense of hearing yes. to listen to the Lord. Because like a radio, I mean, we're sitting in a room, and regardless of where you're sitting, there are radio waves flying through from dozens of sources. Mm -hmm. If you were to turn a radio on, you've got to tune in and choose which one of those you will listen to. You have to choose to listen to God if you want faith to be built up in your life. And again, without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Sure. This is the victory that overcomes the world in us, is our faith. Amen. Listen to the Lord. Listen. Listen. Sometimes it may be that, that rolling thunder. Sometimes it may be that still, small voice. But God is always speaking now. And Arthur Burt would always say, listen to the whisper. Listen to Jesus. the whisper. Yes, Arthur Burt would say, our dear friend, 101 years old, still out on the, on the go. Yes. Listen to the whisper. Yes. This is why Jesus said, be careful, take care what you Jesus. listen to. By your standard of measure, it will be measured to you, and more will give, be given to you besides. Mark 4.24 be careful, take care what you listen to. You know, the Father spoke to Peter, James, and John, who accompanied Jesus up the Mount of Transfiguration, right? Mm -hmm. What did he say? It says, and a cloud formed, overshadowing them, and a voice came out of the cloud. This is my beloved Son. Listen to Him. Mark 9, 7. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, you know, I, I pray that that verse just becomes alive in your heart. Mm -hmm. The Father speaking, parting the skies and saying, This is my beloved Son. Listen to Him. He also spoke through the prophet Isaiah again, right? Saying, Incline your ear to me. Listen that you may live. You want to live? You want life? You want Jesus said, I can't. You might have life and have it abundantly. You want life? Listen to Him. The, the devil is a liar by nature and the father of lies. He is out there trying to convince you. The first thing that he said, the first temptation, is he comes to the woman and says, Did God really say? Doubt. Trying to cause doubt, trying to call the word of God into question. It's a shame that so much of the quote-unquote church today is calling the word of God into question. The Word of God is sure, it is holy, it is pure, it is sound, it is tested. It is and faithful. God, and God watches mm -hmm. over all of His Word, every word, to perform it. That's right. And no promise that He has promised has failed to come to pass. Amen. You can trust the Word of God. Yes, you can, you can well, trust God yes. and what He says. Amen, amen. All right. You know, a doctor will come along and say you're terminal. Oh, that that pimple you got, that's you're out of here. You're a terminal. Yeah, yeah. Jesus said, talking to the woman, right? To I, I remember it was Martha or Mary, right? When Lazarus had passed in the tomb four days, and he said, "I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die." Amen. Then he said to her, "Do you believe this?" Mm. That's the question. Do you believe this? John 11, 25 and 6. The banker says, there's no hope for you in your finances. It's over. It's done. Thank God they don't have debtor's prisons, right? Or you rush out and you get one of these loans here in the United Kingdom, which I don't understand. They have, you know, quick payday loans for 2, and percent. Two and 3 thousand percent interest. I don't, I don't get it. But here's what the Word of God says. And my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, 19. Are, it's your choice. Yes. Which one are you going to listen to? Test him. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, it's the world and the word are saying absolutely opposite, Opposites. contradictory things. Right. 
You can't have, you can't believe both. No. This is like when Elijah, I mentioned Elijah coming back into the land. When he came back into the land and he called for all the false prophets and the people of God to come up on Mount Carmel. Mm -hmm. And he says, how long will you be divided between two opinions? And, and literally, that's a Hebrew phrase that, that kind of gets a picture of a little bird walking out from a tree with one, one foot, they got feet? Yeah. Birds have feet, yeah. One foot on one limb and one foot on the other limb. And as they walk, you know, it gets farther and farther apart. You either choose one, I mean, or you're going to fall down through the middle. But you can't walk on both. No. You can't walk spiritually with one foot in the world and one foot in the Word without falling to your death. So choose which one is going to be the guiding factor in your life. Should I remind you what it says in Psalm 119? Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Amen. Psalm 23. He leads us in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He leads us with his word, that light of his word. It is your choice whether you'll follow that or not. Or you will believe all of the adverts and all of the things that the world is out there screaming. Because you want to know something? This present world is in the power of the evil one, it says in 1 John 5. So, you're either listening to Jesus or you're listening to Satan. It is that simple. It is. You know, the world would have you believe everything is much more complex than it's, than it's money. It's very simple. Yes, it is black and white. No, there is no fence to sit on. There is no gray area. It's either Jesus or Satan. Jesus said, you are either for me or against me. And it's up to you to choose. It is, God is pro-choice. He said, I set before you, Deuteronomy chapter 30, He said, I set before you life and death, choose. the blessing and the curse. Choose life that you may live. He gives you the choice. Yes, He does. He also tells you the right choice to make. But it is your choice. Choose. Silver and gold, wealthy or much. But if I had to choose, you know I choose His touch. For without it, I am sure I'd die. If I had to choose, this is what I'd rather.